What's up guys and welcome back to the Chaotic Battles channel. Today we've got a game at Bristow Station between me and Louis Armstrong Jr. and Joshua who's playing the third core and Bullets who's playing the first core hoods division. Uh, Louis Armstrong is playing uh, third core and I'm playing as the first core. So we've already got a little preliminary art uh, artillery battle going on here. It looks like Joshua's readjusting his artillery. So I'm moving up here through the left just because I'm trying not to be seen. I'm trying to get an ambush on him if possible. Didn't realize that these are a lot easier to move if you actually put them in thin columns and walk them in separately. Like This is one of my first games though on this mod, so... But I learned a lot quick. Definitely learned that this is bunching, so my bad about that. So Joshua's moving through these woods. What I should have done is been on the right, but instead I was on the left, and I just didn't... You guys will see. I didn't pull the trigger fast enough. So I'm really trying to stay hidden here, especially while I move everything up through these uh, woods here. If I had only moved my infantry a little bit faster and got him in here, I could have forced a fight with him. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever even played as the third core. They've never really had anything though that like jumped out at, uh, at me like that I really wanted to play. They seem like they have very small regiments. Uh, Louis Armstrong or whatever took a very low uh, number of uh, units per regiment here. I just noticed now how little men he had. I say, oh, yeah, all mine are pretty big. Let's see his. Oh, yeah. Hood's coming with numbers. And I bet you Anderson is too. So now I'm getting ready to put some uh, crossfire on him here, and uh, I actually do a lot of damage. So Louis Armstrong setting up in these woods. Let's 
It's got some more sharpshooters in the back, it looks like. And then just all artillery after that. You know, I just realized Louis Armstrong actually exceeded the uh, gun limit here. I think you're only supposed to have 12 guns and he had 18. Yep, he totally did. Oh well, too late now. Getting ready for a proper woods battle. So I've opened, opened up some crossfire on them now, and I actually do get some pretty good hits. Looks like I've gotten some already. That was a massive one that took out like a bunch of men. So now what I should have done right here is I should have started moving my infantry already, but I didn't. And because I wasn't quick enough on pulling the trigger, my ally is going to get flanked. And he already doesn't have the numbers to deal with it. I mean, he's got really no uh, low unit numbers. So it's going to be like those units are going to route easier once they get into the thick of it. Without the uh, actual buildings. So my artillery was doing some big damage here. It's, like I said, if I would have moved in my infantry, oh, I'd been perfect. But I hesitated and didn't pull the trigger. I think I just left the Iron Brigade pretty much just sitting in there. Yeah, so I've got the whole Iron Brigade moving out, and then I've got, I think it, Brooklyn, Bucktails, and. Maybe a rando? Yeah, and a rando. So I really was doing really well with the artillery. Like I said, it's a shame I didn't pull the trigger uh, on the infantry and move them in. I even tried to be a nuisance with the cavalry. Anything I could do to keep them here longer, I was trying to do. Just so I could try to get some more shots on them. A lot of hits. Like, that was not a fun artillery position for him to be in. Now here comes Joshua, and he's using the railroad cut here. Got his bucking ball in back here. Andersons are good shooters and good fighters, though. But yeah, when Hood moves up, third corps could be massively outnumbered. And I had men moving this way, but. They need to be moving that way instead of this way, and I think I had to adjust them. Pain in the butt. But I was trying to move the Iron Brigade all the way through and around, but I should have just moved them straight through into those woods. But instead, I tried to move them all the way around the field so I could flank.
Now I'm readjusting my artillery because he's out of range. And things are already looking bad. Third war is taking a lot of fire. So here comes the Iron Brigade moving out of the woods. And I wanted to move them around all these trees, but there's pretty much no way to avoid them unless I were to call them up and walk them through. Like I said, I should have came through here and entered in through here. I do with these guys, but I, I wish I had the Iron Brigade in the woods. It would have been helpful. One of the biggest mistakes I made was running my artillery. And then I realized I didn't do jack shit for it. <laughs> Now Joshua's put the pressure on him. Yeah, he's got his bucking ball on the right. He's gonna probably switch him through every now and then and keep exchanging volleys. the reinforcements they're just moving so damn slow so I really tried to harass here a lot with the cavalry he's got even more already back here So by moving the artillery and the iron brigade out here, at least I, I forced him to form like a wedge, but it doesn't matter because uh, the third corps is getting flanked so bad right here. And it's by the bucking ball. That was just a full frontal charge by the third floor there. Uh, I don't know what he's thinking. Probably just trying to buy time. Man, he really didn't take many casualties here at all. He definitely outshot third core big time. That's a good adjustment. This is an even better counter move on uh, his end here. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention here. I think I was trying to move men around just because I was so badly displaced. And this ca he brings his cavalry right around here and gets my uh, artillery. It's, it's pretty well done. But yeah, I, I really uh, fucked up when I lost my artillery right here. I don't think I saw his cavalry was that close.
But yeah, this one comes back to haunt me. I really needed this artillery. To at least be able to still stand a chance. Whoa, was that like a horse kick or something? So with that, I've pretty much lost both artillery. My cavalry reforms a little bit, but in the end, though, took the damage has been done. So third corps reformed, but you know it's still. I don't know if it's gonna make too much of a difference. He has still a lot of his men. And third corps is down until his last little bit of men. So I'm trying to move it on his flank here to help. And I'm sending the Bucktails, Brooklyn, and the Rando Regiment to the side too to help. It really sucks that I was so far away and the point of battle I was not able to get there. And it, it probably cost uh, us the battle, to be honest with you. I got. It. I did get over here on the right flank. Oh, I just took some friendly fire there. It took about ten men. Oh my god, he's fucking murdering me with friendly fire. So third corps right now is shooting me with his own artillery. One thing I'm trying to do is set him up and, and send him routed. We'll see. That was a good volley. So our center's pretty much broken, it's completely broken. I've got, at this point I'm now trying to just fall back, I'm trying to get back to these trees. And I haven't moved the Iron Brigade yet, but I am starting to see the writing on the wall to the point where I do need to get the heck out of there. Because eventually, uh, Joshua's just gonna come through these woods and flank me and take me out. He's doing a good job of rotating troops. Bullets is. So I set my cab one more time. They try to get to the artillery, but I don't think they make it.
Oh, never mind. I guess I do reform for one more. Thorcor is doing a good job, though, of backing him up and keeping him backing up and keeping this fight going as long as it can. The Union always does better in longer fights. So I'm really trying hard to target this right side and get him out of there. Let's see if he goes. I can't remember. I think he gets out of there. Definitely outnumbered over here. I remember having to dismount my general because I kept losing. Uh, I kept losing his staff because the bullets would come over the line. So I, but I dismounted and I stopped losing men that way, or I stopped losing my general's men that way. Got a little melee in the woods here. So now I know I'm moving my right flank back to the woods. I think it's this thin line of woods right here. But as he starts to get in and melee the uh, third core out, I realize it's time to get out and get back and maybe try to get back to the cannons. That's why I'm mounting up my general right now. But you see how I'm losing men just uh, from that uh, mounting up. The bullets are coming right over the line and hitting the horses. Pretty sure I'm about to run. There we go. Using the smoke to uh, mask my retreat. <laughs> So I was doing okay right here, but I was getting fucking lit up right here and down there. It seems like I was doing damage though. And now I'm just trying to get out of there. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the next portion of the battle. What's up guys, and welcome back. So, both Joshua and Bullets have pushed all the way up in one big line. Uh, they brought some artillery up, but they actually got routed by our artillery. Third Corps setting up a little line while I'm trying to get the rest of my Iron Brigade set up on the left. And I've got my Bucktails and my 14th Brooklyn on the front line right here. Epic hit.
old fire on or something. Oh no, he still has that regular artillery. Okay. They're charging up. They're going for the artillery. Still can't believe the uh, Brooklyn and Bucktails are still up. See, the 143rd Pennsylvania is done, though. One mistake I made, a corner. I'm not supposed to have corners in this mod. You have a corner, it's gonna get flanked bad. I mean, you'll get flanked bad in any mod if you have a corner set up. Oh, dang, that must have been a massive artillery shot. That's gonna route him.
This is an epic little woods defense, though. I probably should have fell back even further, but I think I knew it was over. Here comes Joshua starting to flank me now. I knew it was coming though. Nothing I can do about it. But stand my ground. See how much more uh, damage the Arctic can do before they get put away. I mean, some hits are landing. Some of them are routing. Kind of crazy enough. Okay, now it's the beginning of the end. Once one routes at this point, it's probably done to... Gotta yes, have ourselves a little melee right here. Let's see what happens. goes the rest of the line. That's wacky. Is that... Is that my actual general who's running? Okay, no, that's Reynolds. That must be one of his staff officers. But that's too fucking funny. I guess his horse got shot out, so they gotta run like that. One last epic melee charge. Yes, let's just hold our... Oh. I wanna know how they even died. I don't see any units around them. guys and that's pretty much it with the exception of one more thing i think third corps general makes a big run for it we'll see is that a call oh i ever get held a while so now to troll i believe the third corps is going to run all the way through the map. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward here. Alright guys, we're back for one grand epic general battle. Oh my god, that general is a beast. Who is that? Mead? Mead's just killing everyone. Single-handedly. Mead ain't giving up. What the heck?
Oh, they finally got mead. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you for watching.